Hello and welcome back to the channel and now you join me for this week's fours long guide called Double Numbers which wants you to use either the 1970 Chevrolet Chevelle Supersport 454 or the 1980 Renault 5 Turbo to complete all the challenges with. So without further ado, let's get stuck in. Now this is the first car, the 1970 Chevrolet Savelle Supersport 454, that will cost you 80,000 credits from the auto show, or the one I'm using is a Renault 5 Turbo, which will cost you a bit more at 120,000 credits. Now I've also created a tune for you guys to use, it's called Forslon, the share code is there on your screen, and hopefully it should help you out with these challenges. Talking of which, the first one here wants you to earn 10 ultimate wreckage skills in Tierra Prospera. Now this one might take you a little while because it's a bit sparse out there, but this is the location. Now I'm not exactly sure on what the boundaries technically are for Tierra Prospera, but I know it won't go as far as Guanajuato. However, I think it might be a bit of trial and error. There is enough stuff to smash into in order to get an ultimate wreckage skill. I'm sure all of you know how to get them. It's obviously just four wreckage skills in quickish succession. So there is plenty of stuff to smash into uh, in and in, around the area. As you can see, I'm sort of in the middle of it there on the road. However, generally it's a fairly sparse area. There's plenty of, plenty of landscaping to smash into and towards the east area, there's some sort of houses and fences and a bit more uh, smashable objects to hit there. Now the next one here wants you to earn three stars at any speed zone. Now to do this, I headed over to the festival speed zone. Three stars on here is only 110 mile an hour. And if you hit the speed zone quick enough, you can actually sort of cheat your way around it by just grinding the wall there. Like I said, it's quite easy to do if you've got enough speed to get to it. So it won't take you more than 10 seconds to complete that one if you do it that way. Now the last challenge here wants you to win any dirt race or street race. Now I'm gonna show you both that I've created. However, I will go with the dirt race. The street race I'd use is the Costa Rocosa one. So it's called Forza Thon Easy. Share codes on your screen there. And of course, it's got no AI driver tiles. That might take you about two and a half to three minutes. However, the one I'm doing is the Caldera Scramble. Again, it's called Forza Thon Scramble. Share codes on your screen there. It's two laps with no AI driver tiles. Um, it literally took me about a minute 45 seconds. The reason I picked this one is obviously because of the setup I've got. So if you're using the rear wheel drive Chevelle, probably not the best one to go for probably got for the street race in that however using this because i've done a sort of rally build with it uh, it makes the most sense and it's the quickest out of the two options street races generally can be quite long but either way it's a really easy challenge to finish up on there now hopefully this guide has helped you out but if you're struggling with any of the challenges then please do let me know down below in the comments i would of course be more than happy to help you guys out it doesn't even have to be about the Ford's long, could be any other challenge, just let me know. Also, don't forget to stick around for this week's photo challenge guide coming out shortly. But if this did help you out, then I'd very much appreciate if you could drop a like. And if you're new to the channel, subscribing massively helps me out as well. But apart from that, folks, I want to thank you very much for watching. Make sure you stay safe and take care.